thank you all for coming. We're very happy to have you all here with us today. My name is Abby Cameron. I'm the Executive Director for Three Rivers Community Foundation. Our mission here at Three Rivers Community Foundation is to create opportunities for perpetual charitable giving in Benton and Franklin counties to support our nonprofits now and into the future. Today we're here to talk about the last year a little bit. When the pandemic began impacting our community, Three Rivers knew that we needed to respond. Our board approved launching a COVID-19 response fund last April. And we knew that if we could raise funds, we could get those funds out into the community to nonprofits who were responding to the pandemic crisis. But we didn't know what the, res what the response to that would be. If, if we could find the funds, we could get them out and, and we were gonna take a shot and see, see what would happen. Um, we've been amazed with the response and so, so fortunate. Um, a great example of that that we're celebrating here today is Battelle's contribution to Three Rivers Community Foundation of $40,000. We're thrilled to recognize uh, and receive that and um, also uh, share that that uh, donation uh, made us eligible for matching funds from an organization called All In Wa. Um, so really uh, growing the impact. Um, that donation uh, represents uh, what we received from the community in, uh, in addition with uh, individual donations and business community donations. Three Rivers did not take any fees on any of the donations we received, and that resulted in a total impact of $273,000 going directly out into our community over the last year to support nonprofits pandemic response. Uh, we extend our immense gratitude to all of our donors, uh, particularly today, Battelle, for their significant contribution to this effort. And we want to share that we've, we're just so inspired by um, our nonprofit community and their resilience and creativity in responding and helping our, our neighbors, helping our community, um, as, as we've all been impacted in so many different ways. Our nonprofit community has been there to, to support all of us. Um, and with that, I'd like to in introduce Steve Ashley, Director of Pacific Northwest National Laboratory and a Senior Vice President of Battelle. Steve? Thank you very much uh, for the introduction, Abby. And good afternoon, everyone. I see the sun's coming out for us to celebrate this great day. And I would like to begin by acknowledging the Three Rivers Community Foundation for their sustained support of numerous nonprofit organizations in Benton and Franklin counties. Over the past two decades, your leadership has resulted in more than $6 million to support the important work of our local nonprofits in addressing critical needs within our community. Those needs have grown significantly during the pandemic, creating unprecedented challenges for all of us. Our most vulnerable neighbors were hit the hardest, and many have struggled to keep roofs over their heads and meals on their tables, all while enduring increasing and heightened fear and stress. We applaud the quick response of the foundation to launch the COVID-19 Response Fund, and on behalf of Battelle, proud operator of the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory for the Department of Energy, we are pleased to support your efforts. Battelle has always been committed to supporting the communities in which we live. You're our neighbors, you're our friends, you can count on us to be there. And today we want to thank Three Rivers Community Foundation for your leadership, and we also commend the dedicated efforts of the local nonprofit grant recipients we're recognizing today. Second Harvest has done a tremendous job meeting the increased demand for food, distributing nearly six million pounds in a six month period during the pandemic. Community Action Connections has similarly played a significant role, providing nourishment to our neighbors, in particular those who are homeless and otherwise might go without. And Safe Harbor Support Center is providing critical mental health resources for teens at risk and families in need. And let us not forget that May is Mental Health Awareness Month. We are immensely grateful for all that you do to provide food, shelter, and mental health services for those in our community. Congratulations on these much deserved uh, grants. Thank you very much for all that you do. Thank you for making the Tri-City such a wonderful community. Thank you very much. Thank you, Steve. We really appreciate your remarks and the support of Battelle. Um, and I'd like to introduce Jay Freeman, president of the Three Rivers Community Foundation Board. All right, I'd just like to say thanks to Battelle for allowing Three Rivers to provide the critical support that we're able to do for the nonprofits in our community. And it's the, these three nonprofits represent the, the over 25 organizations 
that are receiving the COVID-19 Response Fund grants. Each of these nonprofits are receiving $10,000 grants to support their relief efforts in Benton and Franklin counties. And I just have to say I'd like to thank some of our board members for coming out today to, to also be with us. It's just a special occasion that we're able to be able to do this in such a difficult time throughout our, in our lives. And so what I'd like to do now is I will be handing out the checks to each one. So thank you. Um, second Harvest who, for addressing the huge increase in food insecurity. So if you I wonder where we should move that. <laughs> Got it? Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. I just move it all totally out of the way. Okay. And now I'd like to produce a check for Safe Harbor for offering shelter and case management for homeless teams in support of their families. Thank you for all that you do. And now I'd like to Give a check to the Community Action Connections for reopening the Second Chance Day Center, providing food and support for homeless families. Thank you. All right, at this time, um, I just applaud these organizations for their commitment in such a difficult time and for all that they do for our community. We're fortunate to have these services, so thank you. And uh, we're all still here, we're still operating, and uh, how good is that, right? And now we get the nice weather, so thank you all that you do. Thank you so much for joining us today. Three Rivers Community Foundations really uh, just relishes and has we have in our heart our role to support philanthropy in, in this area, and um, we really appreciate you helping getting that message out there. Thank you so much.